Good evening, you're watching Fiji Today. The e-ticketing system recently launched by the Prime Minister is facing minor technical challenges which need to be readjusted. However, the Ministry of Works, Transport and Public Utilities has been taking measures to overcome the challenges. Last weekend, the Ministry of Works, Transport and Public Utilities had a meeting with Fiji bus operators and Telecom Fiji Limited officials to discuss the problems associated with the new e-ticketing system. Tadirura Bus Company is the first to test this pilot project in its bus which operates from the Andi Dakambau School. One of the challenges faced through this system is the charging of the console batteries. The console is used to take the fares while entering the bus. The consoles are prepared for up to four hours by TFL and this has been a challenge for the bus company. This is posing a challenging to the bus companies because they have to have two sets of buses for the morning and for the afternoon for the various schools that they look after, which means there is an insufficient supply of batteries. TFL fortunately foresaw that this could be challenging and so they had, uh, you know, prior to the incident cropping up, ordered for some new replacement batteries and chargers. Ministry spokesperson Sainiana Rondrondro says prior to this problem, TFL already ordered more batteries which are in the country from Australia. The system is being tested with new batteries. The ministry has suggested Tadirua bus company to start the system with other schools next week. Another problem faced with the system is the correlation of data. This occurs due to the movement of the bus. But uh, we've discussed this and we've been informed that uh, it is uh, not actually live as in live immediately you can see the transaction but it has to pass through some hot spots which peaks through satellite and then it shows on the system so that has been ironed out and they are satisfied with it. Discussions are also underway to control other minor problems anticipated by the Ministry. The Consumer Council of Fiji is advising members of the public to be aware when purchasing gas regulators from retailers. Council Chief Executive Pramila Kumar says the warning is issued following a complaint received by the Council over the purchase of faulty gas regulators. Consumer Council CEO Pramila Kumar says retailers must ensure that what is on the shelves to be put up for sale must be in good condition. According to a complainant, the gas regulator was leaking after she had purchased it. Leaking gas regulators is a safety risk to consumers which can cause explosion. And my suggestion is that you need to look at your security, which means that you buy a gas regulator um, from a place that can give you some level of uh, uh, comfort in terms of assuring you that uh, the gas regulator is certified or it, it meets certain uh, compliance. Gas stove flames should be nearly blue, while yellow flames are an indication that your appliance is not receiving adequate gas and may be emitting the dangerous fume vapors. Business enterprises and organizations that have excelled over the years were recognized at the annual Fiji Business Excellence Awards. The awards is aimed at raising productivity and excellence in Fiji so that all sectors will grow the economy, making it one of the best places to do business in the world. Building a pool of world-class organizations is vital for the economy. Not only are they the premier organizations to represent Fiji abroad, indeed they are the face of Fiji. They are the prime examples and a source of inspiration to others. In the Commitment to Business Excellence category, Asha Bai and Company, Office of the Auditor General and the Public Service Commission's Training Division took out top honors. In the Achievement to Business Excellence category, Life Insurance Corporation of India, or LICI, the Singatoka Town Council, Nature's Way Cooperative Limited, and Suva City Council. I'm very honored that uh, we have got the Excellence Award. I must thank the entire, my, my entire management, my entire staff of the Suva City Council, the entire Suva City Council family, and all the stakeholders, the ratepayers. I must thank the government. I must thank my ministry and my minister for supporting us. And uh, this shows the commitment we have for, for the public. And as you know, we are uh, the council is a service delivery organization. And I will assure all the ratepayers and citizens that we will improve our services and we will give quality service and uh, we will do all the best to make Suva the best city in, Suva, in Fiji. Special awards were given to Fiji Electricity Authority and the Mark I Apparel Limited of Suva. What's the value for Mark I? in winning this award is that everybody over the last two years participated 
Everybody, from the cleaners to my managing directors of all companies, have been involved in this process, this march forward in quality. Meanwhile, His Excellency the President Ratu Epeli Nailatikao congratulated all the winners, adding that the civil service could learn from the private sector. All I want to say is uh, this, this particularly to the civil service side, make very good observations of who came up today to receive awards. Always, in my experience over the years, always the top people in their career. They never send number two or three. It's only a suggestion, but I expect better from the civil service. No casualties have been reported in the four divisions so far, says National Disaster and Management Office Director Patilia Indombui. However, he has advised parents and guardians to take extra responsibility in ensuring that their children are safe. According to the report from Bonolew, especially on Tawiune, being uh, broken by the heavy rain. Join us again after the break.